Okay, time for a Dax the Internet Dog update. As you can see here, the scars are, you can't even see them there. And you can see a little bit here, but it's pretty much healed up. As you can see, she is back to eating. Uh, she's not being uh, starved. And yes, all she gets is dry food. I mean, uh, they don't get table food. So, yeah. Anyway, Dax, say thank you. Otherwise, you would be you would be pushing up a peach tree, or you would be planted out there under one of the trees. No, you gonna say nothing to everybody? Who's there? <coughs> um, Anyway, let me let him down. All right, enough. Shut up. Hush. Quiet. You see what I started? Anyway, let me go ahead and share this funny little picture. Uh, oh, by the way, YouTube has got ridiculous. If you screen share any information, uh, they give you a, it's like a copyright thing. You can't, uh, can't monetize video. So, y'all are stuck looking at my ugly butt. So, I am going to do a basic stock thing that was posted to public use. And I found this. Uh, let's see here. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Boom. Now. Do not give your dog that much marijuana. And if there's nothing wrong with your dog, do not give your dog marijuana. But they have found, and I'll put the link below, in Israel that the CBD, not the THC, in marijuana helps heal broken bones. This is one of the reasons that the drug companies are fighting tooth and nail to stop marijuana or cannabis research. They don't want this information out. They don't want me and you to be able to go say, hey, I can get hold of a high CBD type of marijuana. You know, the... Uh, uh, and uh, help with my own healing. You know, back before the 1900s, herbal healing was used a lot in medicine. And just because we got scientists and test tubes does not mean all of that herbal healing was bogus. It did work. So right now, our drug laws are dictated by people with pecuniary or monetary interest in it. Therefore, it is in their in the big drug company's interest to scare the crap out of people. However, if you look up the statistics, more people die from the pharmaceutical drugs every year then die from heroin and cocaine and all them other stuff every year. So, uh, yeah, prescription drugs is by far more deadly than all the illegal drugs combined. And I don't think marijuana should be classified as an illegal drug because it does grow naturally. Uh, some people may say, well, we got the concentrates now. Don't feed the concentrate to your dog can't handle that much you know however I've been looking into some of the veterinary uses there may be other veterinary uses you know back in the Civil War uh, the soldiers were given uh, a, a tonic to give their horses and stuff to prevent colic uh, let's see well, th there's other uses for the marijuana plant, and I, to this day, I don't think smoking it is the proper way to use it. Just like cigarettes. You know, uh, the tobacco plant ha was put here for use. It makes a good insecticide. <laughs> Bugs don't like tobacco, or the nicotine anyway, the nicotoids. So, uh, yeah, tobacco has a thing. Just smoking it was not one of the things that God put it here for. <laughs> Now, the cannabis plant, like I said, check out the link below. Uh, they found this little news story 
that will explain it better than I can. I can't screen share that because YouTube is going nuts with this uh, copyright thing or copyright infringement. If you if you use just a little bit of a something that was ever on television, it was like, oh, you can't do nothing with that. So, I guess you have to look at me and some st stupid still stock photo. Uh, let's see, what else was there? There was, uh, it just, it just baffles me that when you look at how much our government has put out false information, or they take the word, it's, it's not really all the government's fault, because our elected officials, we are electing people that are closed-minded, they're, they take whatever some doctor says is the gospel, even though that doctor works for Pfizer or one of the multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical companies. Well, this doctor is a PhD and he's got all these alphabet beside his name, so uh, undoubtedly he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, but that doesn't make him truthful. I mean, just because you got all that alphabet beside your name does not make you truthful. I mean, look at me. I got a, I got a certificate that says I'm a doctor. A doctorate in metaphysics. Does that mean I can write prescription? No. It doesn't mean nothing. It means absolutely nothing. So, uh, let's talk about marijuana for your pets. So, there's been a problem. People have been giving the edibles they get for themselves to their dogs, or the dogs have been getting into it, so they say. And, uh, Poor little Fido winds up on a 72-hour trip. First off, you got to remember that cookie is made for a 100, 150-pound person. Even the low-dose cookies, like the 10-milligram ones. You give that to a 10-pound dog, which a 10-pound dog is surprisingly could eat the whole cookie. You have then given what would be to a person the equivalent of a 100 milligram dose so yeah it's and and dogs don't metabolize the THC as well so they do make special little treats for animals with cannabis that are particularly high in CBD not the THC not the psychoactive part that has proved beneficial myself if I wasn't in Tennessee, I'd love to get that CBD, what's the name of it, Charlotte's Web, and grow me a bunch of it and extract the CBD and use it on me. I mean, not that I don't didn't like the THC, it's just that uh, when you're trying to go out and do something, and it's not exactly the best way in the world to go out and maybe... Uh, do fencing and stuff, unless you have maybe a fencing party, but, so, I don't know how to put this, folks, this is, this little bag of weed right there is just a nut, and what's happening in Colorado, and Washington, and Oregon, is just proof that the government's have been lying, and, and they're so hypocritical, they, they can't, they can't admit it, I mean, why, is marijuana a Schedule One drug which prevents research if they're afraid they're going to find out something good. They're going to find out they were wrong. They were going to, they're going to find out that they've been lying to the American people. Now, if they'll lie on that little thing like a bag of weed, what about the big stuff? They're going to lie about that, too. Uh, the Federal Reserve's a big lie. The IRS, the uh, income tax, uh, 16th Amendment, I believe it was 16, yeah. It was not properly ratified. So, uh, and Michigan being the 34th state, a call for a con constitutional convention, and they're ignoring that. Everything's being ignored. Uh, and the people don't care. Uh, most everybody out there are afraid. They're going to, they're afraid. People are afraid. People are in fear, live in this country in fear of the government right now. 
and they call themselves free. I don't understand how you can call yourself free and fear your government. The government should fear us. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> you see me, Bingo?